next episode of Titus Balls Me. Hopefully this will not take long. Welcome back guys. So this is another unscripted uh, review, rant, whatever you want to call it. This time I will be talking about the Eternals. Um, necessarily, I wasn't a big fan of that film. It was just a filler movie. That's how I really felt about it. It's a filler movie. I saw the movie twice. I saw it once with a friend. And the movie almost put me to sleep. And I watched it again because I just needed to watch it. I didn't want to watch it, but I just needed to remember some things before I did this review. And the only reason why I watched it again besides that was because everybody was talking about it on social media. And I'm like, why is the Eternals coming back up when that movie came out like a while ago and everybody's just not watching it on like Disney Plus and everything else. So yeah, I necessarily, I'm not a big fan of the movie. Um, the movie was okay it was really it was a okay movie the best things that the movie introduced besides the celestials which they had to was the ebony sword the black knight excalibur blade um eros star fox and pit the troll that's it oh and besides the deviants but the deviants had to be in the movie because it's part of the storyline Eternals fight deviants. That's it. They could have had a, a way better backstory. I mean, like they had flashbacks and everything, and I guess it like dealt with them dealing with humans and protecting the humans. But it could have been more that was going on. Like, granted, I like the way the deviants look, but I wish they went did more with the deviants, gave them more each deviant a human form when they absorb something. I don't know. It just took a while, and then next thing you know, they just fought a deviant and killed them off. Fight scenes with the deviants, it was good. Everything was good. It was mainly the movie was dialogue driven. It was really dialogue driven, and it followed a different formula. They did a different formula. It wasn't your natural MCU Marvel film formula like Captain America, Iron Man, Thor, everything else. Even like Thor, when Thor first started off, Thor was like really slow. And boring it was campy door to dark world and it was it was okay-ish like door didn't pick up until door three and thank you or was it waito tatiki what i don't even know how to say his name don't know how to say his name but you get who i'm talking about and that was amazing and i feel like eternals is the same way it's just a slow build up movie it was just slowly building up and I, to me there were only three characters that made that film uh kingo uh, makari kingo's assistant and um oh the other dude what was his name hold on give me a second oh yeah fastos those were the three to me that made that movie and it was good kingo made that movie funny they needed him they needed that comedic aspect because other than that the movie would just would have been boring and i wish they could have did more with eternals but at the same time it's just like with the comics of the eternal and i don't even read the eternals i just knew about them i don't even read them and it's the same thing like you don't know much about the eternals they, they're here then they disappear they may they may appear in like some issues with other characters and then next thing you know it's like okay what's going on and they recently just had a, a comic with their fight in Thanos. But you know what? I wish it I wish it would have been more with like every other Eternals, like the parents and everything, like other people. And I don't know. It's it's a lot. It's a lot. And now even with the Eternals, there's like things that they didn't explain. Like, yes, we have um Arishum and everybody else all the other Eternals, but what about Ego? Because naturally in the comics, he's not an Eternal, but in the movie, he's the Eternal. They said it in Guardian Galaxy 3. So they totally left that man out and didn't explain how he's the Eternal and nobody mentioned nothing about that man. And then yes, I think they talked about 
Thanos in the movie, but not really. They the only thing they said was they kind of explained like what they were doing when the whole snap happened, but they really didn't even care about it. I mean, like they should have cared, but and then like since um, Star Fox is in it, like are you gonna explain like because he said he's an Eternal, he knows he's the Eternals, so are you gonna explain Thanos? Like, cause that's Thanos's brother, and Thanos has the deviant gene. So, are you gonna explain like what Star Fox is doing and why Thanos did what he did? Are we gonna go back to Titan and see why Thanos like wanted to, well, have the resources and what happened to his planet? Did Celestials do something to his planet? We don't know. I can say the other thing that the Eternals could do is that we or the Celestials we can get like all the other cosmic entities that are in the mcu like are we gonna get more of them from the eternals what's gonna happen in the sequel you know i mean like this movie mm, but the sequel it should be better it should explain a lot more what's going on with every other celestial i mean we could get that from dr strange but i don't know i can't really talk about this movie because there's nothing to talk about i mean it's just a an okay movie i yeah it's, it's just an okay movie like i'm not gonna watch that movie again i'm mean, gonna say i'm not because like maybe later on down in the future i probably will if it's on tv something like that but i'm not gonna like force myself to watch that movie again um i basically give that movie a c like nothing else and i really wasn't even hyped for it but i was glad to see that you know we heard blade and then we get to see the black knight and you know the, the ebony sword i'm all down for that but let's just hope that within the sequel we get more of what's going on and more with the deviants or what's going on with the deviant gene and things that can possibly lead from there but let's talk about dr strange that movie's looking good. It's looking real good. And there's a lot of theories that are going on. And I can't even, I'm not even a theory person. I can't even really go into the theories as what's well going to happen with this movie. But I can say it's looking good. And I'm calling that um that one eyed typical monster, Shimagorath, because I like Shimagorath, and I'm not calling it Gargantuath or whatever they're calling it. No, it's Shimagorath. And just everything is just so vast and we're going to get a lot of characters, uh, vast of characters and the Illuminati. <sighs> it's going to be good. It's totally going to be good. And I, I can wait. I can wait because this last trailer they showed was really good. But yeah, this is no, no, this is a short review because I, I had nothing to talk about because like the Eternals really wasn't that great. Um... And no, the, the, the thingy came out so you guys won't be able to hear my voice. So, oh, it's still there. I'm, I'm still speaking. I thought my mic was plugged in. We're going to leave that in too. Um, But yeah, I'm, I'm going to end this here. <laughs> Sorry that I'm looking really scruffy and rugged and stuff. I mean, the boy need to shave and cut his hair a little bit. But other than that, I appreciate you guys being in here. Tell me what you guys thinking about the what thought about the Eternals and what you think about Doctor Strange. Um, I'm gonna try to get some more reviews out here. New Year, more movies, old movies, anything. Other than that, peace, love, and all that jizz, jazz. And to the next episode, I will see you guys later. Peace.